tutorial, we'll be showing you how you can use AudioBus with compatible for Pockets audio applications. In particular, how to use Stompbox as an effects rack for your favourite door and how to record to Meteor Multitrack Recorder. AudioBus is a new technology that allows you to pass audio from one application directly to another in real time. When we say real time, there may be a 5 to 10 millisecond overhead associated with using AudioBus, but this is unnoticeable and shouldn't cause any problems. The AudioBus app is available on the App Store for iPhone and iPad, and you'll need to purchase this to make use of the AudioBus features in compatible applications. Before opening AudioBus, please ensure all non essential apps are closed, especially audio apps. When you first launch the AudioBus application, you will be presented with three boxes one for input, one for effects, and one for output. Pressing the plus button on the input box displays a menu of compatible applications that are installed on your device and can be used as an AudioBus input. For this demo, we will select Synergy, our pattern based sequencer app, as the audio input. Once you've selected an input application, it may need to be launched by tapping on the icon. This isn't necessary if the app is already running. Now we will select our output app by tapping on the output box and selecting Meteor, our multi-track door from the output menu. Upon successful connection, you will see an animation depicting audio passing from one application to another. The first thing you should notice is the audio bus input panel, which usually appears on the right of each application. Tapping on each application button uncovers a number of app specific controls, enabling you to switch to or remote control your other apps. OK, so now we're going to perform a recording of Synergy into Meteor. So first switch to Meteor and ensure track one is selected and configured as a stereo audio track. A point worth noting is that when you attempt to record from an audio bus application, Meteor will automatically change the input type on the options menu to pure stereo. Finally, we need to switch back to Synergy, prepare Meteor for recording by arming the record button, press play on the Meteor remote control to begin recording, and then press play on Synergy's transport bar. You are now recording directly from Synergy into Meteor. Once the recording is complete, press stop on the Meteor remote control panel and then switch to Meteor to view the recording. If we want to add effects during the recording process, AudioBus allows us to do that by specifying an effect plugin. If we go back to the AudioBus app, you'll notice the third box which is for effects. Tapping on this box displays a list of compatible apps that can be used as an effect plugin. In this case, we're going to use our Stompbox app, which ordinarily is used as a standalone effects processor for the guitar. However, when used in conjunction with AudioBus, it unlocks its full potential as an effect processor that can be used with any AudioBus compatible apps to create some awesome sounding plugin effects. We can audition the effects in real time whilst listening to Synergy. We hope this tutorial has been helpful in showing you how AudioBus compatible apps can be used together to achieve some amazing results.